which I say in every single video, but I will be reviewing the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Iced Out collection. It is their spring 2021 collection and it is stunning. I have been a fan of Anastasia products for years. My favorite highlighter of all time is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. It is stunning. So whenever they come out with a highlighter, there's just no questioning it. I go out and buy it, but I'm really like iffy about this one today because it's actually white. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when I actually show you the stuff. So these are the three products that make part of the Iced Out collection. There is a highlighter, a lip gloss, and a brow product. So let's just jump straight into it. I'm gonna start off with a brow product today. Um, I haven't even opened it as you can see, so this is really a first impressions. So this is the first product I'm talking about. It is called the Brow Freeze. And it is a brow styling wax pretty much translucent and it retails for $38 on Anastasia Beverly Hills website, 38 Australian. And at Sephora Australia, it's $39. So really tiny price difference. It's really, really good actually. So I'm assuming this is to set your brows in place. Um, so I'm just gonna be grabbing the spoolie and trying it out. I've already filled in my brows now, so I'm just going to be seeing if this sets it in place. Ooh, it's actually like a really sticky consistency. Like you guys can see, I can literally lift up all my brow hairs like vertically if I wanted to. That is super powerful. It's just created like so much volume to my brows. It's just given it like that super bushy, separated, beautiful look. You know, when you, like it just looks like you have a lot of brow hairs even though you don't, <laughs> in my case. Um, so I'm not gonna dip back into the product because I feel like there's like so much product on this spoolie already. But can you guys see the difference between like both my brows? It's insane. And then I'm just styling it. How I like the shape. Oh my God, guys, that is just stunning. I'm obsessed. My brows look so bushy but in a good way. I'm absolutely obsessed with it, I love it. So it does feel sticky. My brows actually do feel really, really sticky right now, but the thing is when I touch it, it's not sticky at all, which is cool. So it does dry down very quickly, so you have to work quick with this. I also want to talk about the packaging. Look how beautiful it is. It's got rose gold and white. That's kind of the theme for this launch. Um, it's meant to be like icy as the name suggests, but it's just so beautiful. Like I'm actually, actually, actually obsessed with it. Um, the packaging is just amazing. Like packaging is just a huge thing for me. And then it comes in this little plastic container but it feels like glass like even though it's not it is plastic oh my god now the most exciting part i'm going to be moving on to highlighter so this is the packaging of the highlighter as you can see it is a very very white and rose gold kind of packaging but it's stunning it just i feel like in the light it looks like really white but it's really pretty this is what the inside looks like and the back and I'm just going to open it up. Oh my God, it is literally white. I hope this doesn't look scary on my skin tone, but it's so pretty. Like I literally don't want to use it. It's that stunning. Um, from my understanding, it's like a sheer white highlighter with gold reflex. Like you can definitely see the gold in the product. So this particular product is called the Iced Out Highlighter. It retails for 56 Australian on the Anastasia website and 57 um, on Sephora. 
.com.au so just be mindful um, there's literally no price difference I know other brands which we've talked about on my channel before have huge price differences between their personal sites and the Sephora retailers so this is really good I really respect Anastasia for like keeping the cost consistent um, it's actually really important at the end of the day with such a saturated market and a thousand highlighters out there Sometimes price can definitely be a huge deciding factor even if you love the way the product looks, feels and you really want to buy it. Just might be like a big no-no if you can't get it at your Sephora at an affordable price. That is beautiful. That does not look white at all. It is like gold reflect. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to try the other side now. Okay, guys, a little definitely goes a long way. That is amazing. I'm just going to keep building it. Um, my brush is completely dry. I have read that you can use this both wet and dry, so it's whatever you prefer. Okay, now for the nose, my favorite part. I low-key want to spritz my brush and see what it's going to look like then. Oh my god. I'm like shining to the bloody moon right now. Look at the difference. That is a wet brush. That is a dry brush. Okay, I really, really need to stop right now. But look how beautiful the glow is. Like, I'm just obsessed. That is such a pretty color. Um, I love how beautiful this is going to look on brown skin, to darker skin. Just, it's not got a champagne undertone like so many highlighters. It's got a gold undertone, which is beautiful. It just pops against brown skin, even lighter skin. Like all skin types, this is just such a beautiful, subtle gold, which is just perfect. It's just giving like such a three-dimensional glow. Like it's it doesn't look flat in any way. It kind of just looks good in every angle. Like when I turn my head, you can see when the light hits it. When I look straight on, you can still see like the reflex. It's just stunning. I'm trying to fault this right now, but I genuinely can't. Okay, lastly guys, I'm gonna be trying out the Diamond Gloss. I was actually kind of hesitant buying this one. I have so many glosses and by the appearance of this, it looked like it had like shiny particles in it and I'm not much of a shiny lip gloss wearer so I was a bit hesitant. I'm like, do I wanna waste 33, sorry, $34 from Sephora buying this if I'm really not gonna use it? But I'm like, why not? I'm just getting most of the collection anyway. I might as well try this. And I wanted to review it for you guys. So I have nothing on my lips, absolutely no liner or anything. This is what the applicator looks like. It is a paddle brush applicator, so it's really flat. Um, most lip glosses have a doe foot applicator, so this is interesting. Okay, I do not like how that like goes into the product. It's so stiff, and then when you pull it out, product falls on the ground so I do not like that they should have made this opening a little bit wider but anyway okay I don't know if you guys can see but it actually is really pretty I, I'm not obsessed with it because I can see like little gold reflexes I would have preferred if this was just clear um, but I'm gonna build it definitely see the gold particles in it I don't know if I'm obsessed with it um, I feel like it's okay like if I had the choice to try this I probably wouldn't purchase with the lip gloss like I just get the other two things out of the kit it's definitely nice but I would have to wear a lip product under so I'm going to be doing that right now I'm gonna wear a lip product and then we'll try this on top of the lip product okay guys so I just wanted to give you my overall thoughts on the new iced out collection um, 
I have a bit of a mixed opinion about it because I loved two products and one of the products was okay. So let's start off with the brow freeze. Hands down, I think this is probably my favorite product from the collection. I really, really like how my brows are sitting. They just look so neat and um, they don't feel tacky. It's really lightweight on the brows, but it's also really heavy duty of a product. It feels like my brows are not going to be going anywhere at all. So I really, really like that. They're just nice and like perky and they're just sitting up really nice. So I really, really like this. Um, packaging and everything is spot on. I think the formula of this is really well thought out and I like how it comes in a wide circle as opposed to what their other brighter products come in, like the pomades, they're kind of deeper. So this makes it really nice. So you can just get a spoolie and wiggle the spoolie in it. Um, and as you're approaching the bottom, you can still get the spoolie all around the corner. So I really, really, really like the brow freeze and I do think it'll be worth the money if you are going to invest in it. Next up, we have the Ice Stout Highlighter. I absolutely love the formula of this. I think it's very, very similar to the Amrezy Highlighter and it really pops against my skin. I absolutely love the color. The formulation goes on nice when you add a spritz of um, any kind of liquid to your brush and then go in, it really pops. So you can really build the pigment. So if you're after a more natural highlighter, this would work as well as if you want something really blinding, this is also really, really stunning. It layers really, really beautifully against the skin. I have no complaints at all. It isn't really emphasizing any texture that I have. Everything looks nice and smooth and pretty. Um, one thing I will say this about the packaging is that I feel like they could have done something a little more on the front. Like I understand the whole like plain white eye start collection vibes that they're going for. But let me just bring up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy collection. So like, okay, look how the Amrezy highlighter has like some detailing on it, etc. This one is just plain white. It's like they got a bit lazy with the detailing on this, but it's still stunning overall if you like that clean white finish. Um, yeah, so I'm not mad. I'm just pointing it out. Okay, lastly, let's talk about this diamond gloss. Okay, I mean, it's a nice product. Um, I'll be honest, I do like the product. It's looking really pretty from afar. Um, I'm just personally not a shimmer in gloss kind of person. That's just a personal preference. So I can't really blame the gloss because I knew it had shimmer in it when I was purchasing it. Um, I like how it's looking on my skin. It's not like overly shimmery where it looks tacky. I would definitely wear this out. Um, no issues with that. Uh, the applicator for me was nice, but the way it just goes into the bottle is not cute. Like, look, okay, see how it gets stuck a bit? And then when you pull it out, the product kind of falls. It's really hard. And then when you're, when you're putting it back in, have a look, guys. It takes a bit of force. Like, I'm, watch. Like, it takes quite a bit of force for the applicator to go back in. Kind of annoying. The applicator itself feels a little bit flimsy if I'm not going in too, like, hard on the brand. But um, it's not obviously broken or anything. So it's just, I'm sure they've tested the strength of it. I just feel like compared to a lot of other lip glosses, the applicator is a tiny bit flimsy. I probably would not purchase this again. Like it's a nice product to have and try. Obviously it's cute to have in your collection. Packaging is stunning. The outside packaging, of course, but I don't think it's a must have and I can definitely live without it. It's not something which is gonna make or break my routines. But yeah, guys, that's all I really have to say about this collection. I hope you enjoyed me doing this and just trying out all the products on camera and sharing my thoughts with you guys. If you have any questions about this collection, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll definitely get back to you. I would be really appreciative if you guys can subscribe to my channel um, because I'm putting two videos out a week and it would mean a lot if you could. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.